afternoon, students. This is Professor Chapman. Here are the explanations for the fields of interest video assignment that you will be doing in lieu of the volunteer hours due to COVID-19. So at the end of this lecture, students in the Introduction to Social Work class will understand the instructions for the Fields of Interest video presentation assignment and understand some of the major settings or fields in social work. First of all, this is a video assignment. Um, there, this really should, this is a video assignment. In addition, you are going to be filming yourself dressed in interview ready attire. So I expect to see um, for a gentleman, you know, a suit or at least a blazer, a shirt and a tie. For um, young ladies, um, I would expect to see no big dangly earrings, etc., and a nice dress or a blouse and um, a blazer and a skirt. If you have problems acquiring those items, please contact me via the Canvas inbox message or via email to let me know. These videos will be between 15 and 20 minutes. While you may use a PowerPoint or Prezi in your video, it is not required. You will record the video using Screencast-O-Matic, YouTube, or other format that is easiest for you. You will then upload the link to the video or the video itself in Canvas. If you need assist assistance in accessing Screencast-O-Matic, please contact the Canvas Help Desk because I have downloaded that app to our Canvas modules. Please note, again, this assignment was created to replace the volunteer placement assignment for students who were unable to complete the volunteer hours due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So, what you will need to do in this assignment is to, first of all, identify your field of interest. That might be aging, it might be school social work, it might be child welfare. I will go over some of the key or major areas um, uh, in social work towards the end of this video. Next, you identify the target population. This is the population that the social worker is working with in the particular setting. So for example, if you're a school social worker, one of your target populations would be the children or the youth or teenagers that attend that school or high school. You'll provide background details regarding your field of interest. You'll explain the responsibilities and educational levels that a social worker needs to work in that setting. You will also state your personal reasons for wanting to work in this setting. You will identify and explain social work values related to the target population. So remember those six core values um, from NASW that we reviewed earlier in the year. You'll provide statistics about the setting and the target population. So for example, see the data below. And this data is not real, I just made it up. So for example, you would want to say, there are a thousand children in the foster care system, or 10% of these, this, these children will be convicted of a crime, something along those lines. If you have questions about this area of the assignment, please contact me. Now we are going to cover some of the fields of interest. Remember that there is a list of some of the major jobs in social work that were, was provided to you when we uh, reviewed chapter two, which would have been our first module of the class. And it is uh, still there for you. That list is still there. Um, also, 
there are social work practice videos which were in most of your modules um, but I will what I'll do is put them all in one place for you and those were completed by NASW Ohio so with aging um, you know you would be working with individuals who are older adults they may be at home they might be in a hospital they might be in a hospice but all of the services that the social worker does will be to help that older adult live as independently as possible medical social work that is my specialty I was a medical social worker in hospice hemodialysis clinics I also served as an executive director for a health organization, a nonprofit organization. So medical social workers work uh, other places other than the hospital. Child welfare. Child welfare, you're usually working for maybe Department of Social Services in their Child Protective Services unit. And before I continue on, I want you to go back to our the table of contents in our book. Our textbook after chapter four, that deals with major settings in the social work field. So please um, go back and look at those because you may find um, a setting that is of interest to you. Social workers also work in corrections, substance use, behavioral health in the schools with individuals with disabilities, they also work at the macro level, remember that, working with communities and community development. Make sure you review chapter three because there were three models of community development there. Also, there are environmental social workers and social workers who work within libraries.